Hello, you're listening to We Radio. My name's Lee Brownson, and I've been joined in the studio by a very special guest. I'd like to welcome Amy Lee to We Radio. Oh, thank you. Hi, Lee. How are you? I'm very well indeed. How are you, Amy? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. Very, very good. So, just to put a bit of background, I first met you, Amy, as part of my role as a volunteer on Bishop Auckland Town Team. And what we were doing, we were looking for singers and uh, performers to come and take part in our Buskers Day, which was, can you remember what year that was? Was it? Oh, uh, 2015, was it? I think so. I think, like, I uh, just left school, maybe? Yeah, uh, just left school and, yeah, just... Um, yeah, I think it was around that time. Well, 2015. <laughs> so you saw yeah. the you saw the advert on the Bishop Walton Town team social media, and then you got in touch and said, "Can I come down?" And you came down with your guitar, and I remember us standing in the marketplace, and then that was it. So, what did you think about the Buskers Day when you were there? Oh, brilliant! Yeah, I loved it. I was nervous, obviously, yeah. um, at first, but I had been to the other Buskers uh, days as well, like throughout the years, as you know. And yeah, I think it's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, Amy, tell us a little bit more about yourself. So, how old are you? Where do you live in Bishop Auckland? What sort of uh, which school did you go to? So, I'm I'm 22 years old. I know, <laughs> 22. <laughs> you don't look 22. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> and I I do live in Bishop Auckland. Yes, I'm a musician, singer, songwriter. So, for primary, I spent most of my years in primary school at St Anne's. And then secondary school, I went to the Oaks because um, I have special needs. I have autism yeah. and learning disabilities, but I don't let that affect me at all. I went to um, college after secondary school, yeah. um, went to Bishop Auckland College. I did music for three years mm-hmm. um, with English and maths on top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but music is your passion, isn't it? Yes, yeah. definitely. How did you know yourself that you wanted to get into music? Well, it all started when I... I was younger and I want, really wanted to learn how to play the guitar. Yeah. But like years before that, I uh, said to my parents that I wanted to be a model or I just wanted to be a singer and it just never worked out. Yeah. But then it got to the point where I wanted to play guitar and I really did. Yeah. But my parents were kind of a bit um, not, not sure about yeah. it because I was kind of a quitter. Back then, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just did it once and that boom, was it. Yeah. quit. But um, I was so like so focused mm-hmm. on that I really wanted to play guitar and not just be a singer. Um, so they gave in and they uh, gave persevered. me my first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they persevered. They gave me uh, my first electric guitar. Believe it or not, my first um, guitar was electric and it was a Yamaha. It was a basic beginner one. Yeah. And it just grew from there. So I started getting, um, well, having uh, guitar lessons from there. It just grew. Throughout college, I, uh, because of my guitar lessons, I was able to be in a band and we called ourselves Hyperdrive at college. Oh, wonderful. So yeah. that was a band at Bishop Auckland College. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Right, so we've got all of your songs. We're going to play most of your songs today. So uh, we've got your latest one, which is called Did He Know, which we'll play towards the end of the show. But your first song is your debut single from your first EP. It's called Dark Soul. So what we're going to do, we're going to play that now, and then we're going to come back and chat a little bit more about why you wrote that song and the meanings behind it. So we'll, we'll play for you that right now. So this is Amy Lee and Dark Soul here on We Radio.
to try to try think it's best that we just stay friends stay friends it's really hard to explain it's really This time we have to say goodbye, goodbye. The love that we had seemed to come to an end, an end. It's really hard. To explain, it's really hard to understand. Understand. Without my words seeming broken, heartless, and bland. And bland. You see. Dark Soul from Amy Lee, my special guest here on We Radio. So, Amy, tell us a little bit more about that particular song. Well, Dark Soul, uh, which was my debut uh, single from my first EP, Dark Soul Like Heart, and it is a song about a relationship coming to an end, primarily because of a controlling partner and how that would make um, you wary of beginning any new relationship. I'd just like to say that all my songs are fictional except Guitar Case. I base them around what I hear, like, of the news or social media, all that kind of stuff. But Guitar Case is real. <laughs> but we'll talk a little bit more about that when we played, so uh, that's great. And I believe, yes, you've written down there that it is your first e uh, song from the EP, but it's not really your first song, is it? Because you're telling me a little bit of a secret. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, yeah, that wasn't my first song that I ever wrote, believe it or not. When I first started out playing guitar and learning how to play guitar, I came up with a song and it's called Brainstorm. Now, it's not been released yet, so right. your listeners are getting a bit of a Inside. preview uh, spoiler here. And it's basically about what goes on 
um, in my head or any other one's head. It, it could be viewed differently. So in my case, it could be about me having a, a bit of a breakdown because of my autism and yeah. that. It mm-hmm. gets a bit overwhelming sometimes. So it's the journey that I... Um, the song is the journey that I go through when I'm having a bit, yeah. a, a bit of a... Yes. Yeah. Right down. <laughs> no, that's fine. So are you when are you planning on releasing that and putting it together, a bit of music and obviously the instruments as well? So when are you planning on doing that? I'm planning, hopefully, to release it in the new year, so maybe January time. So, yeah, um, a bit to go, but yeah. um, I'm currently doing... Well, I'm, I'm actually waiting for the first mix of another song that I'm thinking of releasing sometime in October. I'll give you a bit of spoiler here now. Uh, it's called Autumn Breeze. Oh, right. Yeah. Perfect timing for it, isn't it, this time of the year? Yes, definitely. Mm, yeah. So I'm just waiting for my producer to get back to me and see from there. Uh, so you've got loads of new songs <laughs> coming up. You've got all of the songs that we're going to play today as well. And speaking of songs, we're going to go on to the second track, which is called Black Dog. So we're going to play that now, and then we can come back and chat a little bit more about the meaning and the words and the lyrics of Black Dog in just a couple of minutes.
Amy Lee and Black Dog here on We Are Radio. And uh, Amy, just tell us a little bit more about that particular song. Well, Black Dog, this song uh, came about after hearing and reading personal accounts uh, from musicians who have had have had the depression mm. and um, how it affected their personal and professional lives. So, yeah, it's quite a, a dark subject, but it, it needs to be known. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, in the studio, I'll say we've got Amy Lee, a local singer-songwriter, musician from Bishop Auckland. Uh, Amy plays mainly the guitar, but can also play the bass, drums and keyboards. And what I'm going to ask Amy now is, uh, you do a lot of acoustic pop, but what is your, sort of, who's your musical influences? Oh, wow. Uh, I've got quite a lot, but I think my main one's... Um, Definitely George Michael, off the bat, George Michael. Why George Michael? Oh, <laughs> where do I start? Is emotion in the singing beautiful, beautiful. Mm. And I, I grew up listening to George Michael because my mum is a jo- big George Michael fan. Yeah. And when, he, uh, when I heard that he passed away a few years ago, uh, it broke both our hearts, really. But definitely George Michael. Um, I just think his music is beautiful and his voice is just amazing my favorite song i would say from him is probably one more try just the emotion and the lyrics Mm. just with that it's just amazing any other influences music wise avril lavigne is one of them yeah i do like avril lavigne i kind of like her early stuff uh, like from the album let go Mm. i think yeah from 2002 i think it is i quite like her look the way she was dressed yeah you know like kind of like a punk skate skater like girl kind of punk rock kind of girl i liked that look who else oh i like muse i like muse a lot they're like my top favorite band of all time matt bellamy his voice wow his vocal range is incredible brilliant isn't it (laughs) and his guitar skills is brilliant as well and yeah, the whole band of Muse is amazing. So you've got quite a lot of different yeah. musical influences, haven't you? Which has brought you on to quite a number of songs. And the next song we're going to play is Guitar Case. So tell us a little bit more about Guitar Case. Guitar Case is a song about basically me um, gigging at different pubs and how a simple object uh, can give you joy in life. So in my case, that's my guitar case. Mm. I look to the right and see my case that's one of the lyrics and there it is and we're going to play it for you right now so this is Amy Lee with Guitar Case Just my fate 
Amy Lee there and Guitar Case here on We Are Radio. And uh, that's the third song from Amy's first EP called Dark Soul Light Heart. Tell us why you've called the EP Dark Soul Light Heart. Well, the two first songs on the EP are quite dark. Um, so Dark Soul is about the controlling partner, etc. Um, you know, feeling like you can't do anything without permission or anything like yeah. that. You know, feeling controlled. And then, so you, you go through that, and then Black Dog, the second song on the EP, is you've gone through to a dark bit. Mm -hmm. you, you go into the depression, really, after coping with, let's say, the first song. Yeah. Um, but then Guitar Case is you finally, like, got through the depression, you're, you're finally feeling like yourself again. Mm -hmm. And like you, you pick up your guitar and it's kind of like an object that gives you... It's, a, it's an object that gives you joy. And in my case, that that's my case. Like, guitar case gives me joy. The last song which we're going to play for you right now is... Well, it's a great fine lover. Uh, my, my last song of the EP, which is a very light-hearted song. It's basically you're on holiday, you're on the beach, and you you kind of flirting a little bit <laughs> around the pool. Mm. <laughs> so thank you very much, Amy. So these are your first four tracks off your first EP. We're going to talk a little bit more about your second EP in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us here on We Radio as we play you "Grapevine Lover" from Amy Lee, singer-songwriter from Bishop Auckland. Grapevine lover, Amy Lee, singer-songwriter, musician from Bishop Auckland. So that was your fourth track off your first EP. Yeah. yeah. Right, so that brings us on to your next EP. So uh, when did this EP come out? Um, well, it's still uh, um, still in the pro process of coming out, actually, uh, believe it or not. it's Believe it or not, it's like spanned like about coming up to three years. Ah, right. So this has been an ongoing, especially through the pandemic. So you've been oh, yeah. releasing and writing songs during that as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would say Bird's Your Mystery went out in 2020. And uh, so did You Show Me I Love Again. Obviously, I've got one coming out uh, soon uh, this year and uh, one coming out in 
next year. Yeah. Tell um, us a little bit more about the birds. You are a mystery song because I say that's your first release from the uh, second EP. Uh, so, Birds You Are Mystery is a very mellow song, uh, which is the first release from my second DP entitled Flight, which because of COVID, I only managed to release two songs last year from it, and uh, unfortunately they were not released in the order in which I intended. As like the EP Dark Soul Light Heart, uh, the EP Flight also follows um, a journey for the listener. It is a song about wanting to be accepted and questioning why this isn't the case, leading to the overwhelming feeling of longing to escape and being able to take flight away from hurtful comments. So we're going to play that one for you right now. So this is Birds, You Are a Mystery by Amy Lee.
nice sound of the birds at the end there. Birds, you are a mystery. That's Amy Lee right here on We Radio. Just tell us a little bit more about that particular song, then, Amy. So it's um, kind of like a very mellow uh, song. It's about basically taking flight and flying away from mm. hurtful comments and, yeah. you know, just people like, and things going on. Kind of like just... Uh, Switching time. off. Switching time off. to self, yeah. Getting away. And I believe, uh, not only do you write your own songs, but you've been in collaboration with, you mentioned earlier about the band that you were in at the college, but I believe you've been just telling me that you're in collaboration with some other people as well. Tell us more, because that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I have been busy, not only recording my own tracks, but I've also been involved in quite a few collaboration tracks recently. I sang a chorus along with uh, several other performers on Nashville singer Deborah Lynn's track, you can't hold me close when you're holding the bottle. I've also been asked to add two of my own original tracks to a, a compilation CD for a crew, uh, for a crew group uh, called Into the Spotlight, which will be distributed uh, free throughout the North East. And I have uh, literally just yesterday uh, finished recording the vocals um, to a track by local artist Tom Lee, who performs under the name of Terminal Broadcast. I have three more tracks um, of his to record uh, the vocals for over the next couple of weeks. So I have, I have a busy time ahead of me. <laughs> You're telling me you've got a busy time doing all those writing of songs and uh, doing the voice tracks and the music. It's You must never stop the Amy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Right, we've got a couple more songs to play. We're going to finish off with your new one, Did He Know, in a short while. But uh, right up now, we've got You've Shown Me How to Love Again.
my best friend. So there you go, Amy Lee. Show you've shown me how to love again, and uh, tell us a little bit more about that particular song, then, Amy. Well, uh, you show me how love again is from my second EP called Flight, which I haven't released fully yet. Mm. It's a happy ending song. You found your soulmate, and you're on a flight of discovery with the new love of your life after having had heartache in a previous relationship. Uh, my first EP, Dark Soul Light Heart, uh, and this second EP, Flight, both have themes running through them, with each track leading on to the next, almost like a storyline. It is a bit like a story, isn't it? Uh, just before we go on to the next one, uh, I just got a, got a message in from James, James on Henel, one of our Wii Radio presenters, and he said, I love that song, Guitar Case, could listen to that one all day. So thanks for your message, James. Oh, thank you, James. That's really nice. Yeah. So, uh, yes, big fan of yours. So uh, thank you very much for that, James. We're coming closely to the end of our special feature here on We Radio. But tell us a little bit more about how people can follow you because you do a lot of gigs around Bishop Auckland and the Wee Valley and across the the county. So uh, you're on social media. Tell us all about your social media. Well, you can find me on all the usual media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and I am just uh, starting to look into TikTok. TikTok? Oh, (laughs) don't talk to me about TikTok. (laughs) (laughs) And a few other platforms as well. These are all under the name of Amy Lee Music, with Amy being spelt uh, spelt as A-M-I. And Lee is spelt L-E-I-G-H. Ah, so it's not L W E like my name. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the girl's uh, pronunciation of Lee. So uh, just repeat your uh, social media again. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, maybe TikTok in the future. Uh, all under the name of Amy Lee Music. So that's how you can get in touch with Amy Lee. And to finish off today, we're going to finish off with your final song of the day, which is your current single as well, isn't it? Thank you. So what's it, what's it called? It's called Do You Know? Did he know? Did yes. he know? Yes, did he know? So what? Mm. tell us a little bit more about this. Well, it's about the awkward feelings of being in love with someone who doesn't know you feel that way about them. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amy Lee, for coming into We Radio today. And you'll be able to listen back to this on the We Radio website, on the podcast section. And we'll interview uh, Amy in the future. Uh, feel free to come in as and when you please. I know you're busy, so we'll try and track you down again. But very good luck in the future with everything you're doing, from your own musical songs, from your EPs, all the gigs that you're going to be doing, and also the collaborations as well. It's been absolutely a great pleasure to have you in the studio today. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed it as well. Thank you for having me. You're you're welcome. So, do you want to introduce your current song uh, here on We Radio? This is Did He Know? Probably knew I was totally into you. 